guys welcome back to my channel and for today's video i will be sharing with you some free resources for some classes trainings or courses for some advanced it or a tech skill that you might want to learn one day so earlier this week i had a poll in my channel and most of you guys answered you want to learn linux and i will be giving you a free resource for Linux where you can study it for free and you can gain some knowledge on Linux for free and also the rest of the topics that I've listed below like, like AWS, like AWS, Python, PowerShell, and network automation. So the resources that I am going to share with you are the ones that I've personally taken and am currently taking. So I have a first-hand opinion and idea on all of this and I really completed and tried this before. So if you're interested, please keep on watching and without further ado, let's get started with today's video. Okay, so as I've mentioned earlier, I have taken some of the courses here and I'm also currently taking, I think, one of the courses that I'm going to be sharing with you guys and I have have a personal experience on what these courses are really like and I just didn't come up with a random list of courses that I'm making for content so these are the courses that I've actually taken and I'm gonna put the links in the description box if you want to check them out too so let's get started with the first one okay so if you want to learn more about AWS or if you just want to see if you will be interested in learning it there's a free course and the in the AWS there's a free course online for it and Okay, so if you click on that link in the description box, it will take you to this page. This is the page for the AWS training and certification. And all you have to do is to sign in with your Amazon account if you already have your Amazon account. So you can log in with Amazon in here and just enter your Amazon credentials. Okay, so once you have signed in and updated your information, you are going to get to the learner dashboard in here where you can find and search for different courses in here. So the very beginner level for AWS is the cloud practitioner. So for example, that's what you want to learn. You just type it in here and there's a lot of different languages for cloud practitioner and other courses in here so you might want to filter it with the language that you are comfortable with so there's different a lot of different options for languages here i'm just selecting english so as you can see there's a lot of different trainings and courses that you can take for aws so let's check this one out Okay, so you can read the course objectives here on what you're going to learn in here. And this is free knowledge and free training. So you can just enroll in here. And let's check it out. Start learning now and see what it looks like. So this one is self-paced. You don't need to follow any schedule in here. And if you just want to check it out, if you want to be studying this soon here is the entire module that you will be learning in this class so there's a lot of modules in here there is up to module 11 so i have taken this certification and the training during the pandemic so i had a lot of time in my hands but this is a lot of module and a lot of terminologies a lot of concepts new concepts that you will be learning in here so this is really good stuff because they will be like teaching you all of these things that you have to learn especially if you wanted to wanted to take the certification test as well okay so let's check out for example the introduction so this course is very self-paced most of the time you will be watching videos they will be explaining a lot in here and providing really good examples in practice with the terms that you will be learning and also there is the transcript of everything that you have watched so for example if you wanted to review what you have watched or there's something that you don't understand and it's better to read it it's down in here so it's really good to have this additional resource as well that's pretty much the same vibe in this entire course in the lessons so 
it's just like any other online classes you just watch the videos they will explain it to you you will have all of the resources that you will need what's nice about this course and what i really like about this course is that they really give examples on real life scenarios and not just spitting out some theoretical terminologies so they would tell you how to use the different AWS services in your environment or in your company or in your enterprise. And then, of course, after each class, there's a quiz in here. So just take it. And I'm not sure what the passing rate in here, but in most quizzes, it's 80%. And, of course, that's the same on every other module. So these are all free training. And if you wanted to take the certification for the AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification, you might want to take the final assessment. And this is like the summary of everything that you have learned in this entire course and this prepares you also for your examination for the certification the certification is not free though it cost i i'm not sure but around maybe a hundred dollars to take it but to get the certificate but to get the certificate you will be a certified aws cloud practitioner after completing the examination but if you just want to learn or if you just want to see if you will be interested in learning more about AWS, I think this is a really good course. Or if your company already uses AWS and you wanted more knowledge and more skills, more exposure with it, you can also check this out. Okay, so next topic is Linux fundamentals and shell scripting. So Linux is the number one topic that you guys answered in my poll. So it's what people would really want to learn because Linux is the least common operating system out there. Most common, of course, is Windows and Mac and Linux is kind of scary to those people, I think, who are not really exposed to it. But Linux is so powerful that you can really do a lot of powerful stuff and really convenient stuff when it comes to IT. So if you wanted to learn the fundamentals of Linux, this is the very basic course that I that I took and completed and I took a free class on EDX and the link is on the description down below. So let's check it out. So EDX is an online learning website that has a lot of different courses from different actual schools and enterprises and industry out there giving free trainings and paid certificates. So if you wanted to get the knowledge, they have it all in here for free. And of course, you have to sign up for an account in here. Okay, so let's check out the Linux commands and shell scripting. So this is by IBM. And IBM is one of the leading companies in the tech industry. So let's check it out. So this is a really short course. I think you can finish it in like one to two weeks. I didn't complete the project because i don't think it's relevant to what i'm doing but you can learn a lot of linux in here as a beginner and you don't have to have a background in linux for you to start out this course so this is also self-paced you can yeah finish it in a week and it's free so let's check it out so you can see this course you can learn the very basics that you would need in your job right now and I really love how they have structured this course and they didn't just throw a lot of like theories in here that you're not going to need in real life practice. Everything that you will learn in here, all of the commands that you will learn, I think you will really use it in practice because there's a lot of commands that are not applicable in IT and not applicable in real life okay so this is i think structured into like different modules so there's an introduction to linux in here and all of the linux commands the different linux flavors and version of course as well is included in here and there's also additional shell scripting in here so if you are also uh, interested in taking that or learning that there's also shell scripting included in here. And after every module, there's also a quiz. The quiz is just about the terminologies and the commands. But there is a hands-on lab in here where you are going to be writing your own shell script. So I didn't finish that because that is just 
a little too advanced for the course overall and I think the examples were really very basic compared to the lab so the lab was actually kind of hard and a, really a jump to basic from basic to advanced okay so if you are also interested in becoming a network engineer or if you want to learn about network automation you can check out this course because Cisco of course is one of the leading network company in the tech industry and they are providing some free trainings and classes for this okay so the link will take you to this page and as you can see in this learn tab you can click on start now and then if you scroll down there's different classes that you can take in here there's coding and apis networking 101 enterprise networking meraki data center networking webex and different like classes in here so click on start track and of course this classes is also for self learners and self-paced and for example if you want to learn about coding and api in here so i am taking this training but i haven't finished yet because i'm taking a lot of different trainings all at the same time but i'm gonna get back to it but what i like about this is how they structure it into the topics that are really useful in here so they have everything that you need to learn in coding and api when it comes to networking so this is not focused on becoming a software developer this is more focused on networking so everything that they're teaching you in here is what you can apply in a network environment and what you can apply if you become a network engineer one day or a network administrator so all of the apis that are relevant in here also the downside is just you have to read everything in here there is no video where an instructor will teach you and there's really not a lot of labs in here so this is really for self learners and the downside of that is because you have to read it sometimes you probably would not feel very motivated when you're just reading stuff and you might want to be mo motivated when you are watching videos instead having a visual having like another person tell you something compared to just reading it so that's the downside to this if you just want to see what topics are needed for to learn network automation then you can just check it out and then watch videos for like apis or rest or get in github okay next if you wanted to learn more about python in depth if you wanted to be able to create your own scripts one day or maybe become a software developer or a network a devops engineer or just automate some basic tasks in your life and at work this is the perfect course for you this is my favorite course and training from all the trainings that I'm gonna mention in this video so so this is the link for the training and let's check it out okay so the link will take you to the EDX page for CS 50s introduction to programming with Python so this course is actually by Harvard university and it's an actual class that the harvard students are actually taking so this is so you can expect that this is a really high quality class because it's from one of the best schools in the world so they have like i think 10 weeks for this class each one topic for one week but this is self-paced so you can take as many topics in a week as you can and I really really love the course because there is a video here and the instructor is really really good professor david malan is really good with explaining the all of the different concepts and he makes it so simple to understand like when i was taking python from a different course i am not getting most of it but when i listened to his class and his teachings i was like oh my gosh that makes a lot of sense so let's check it out real quick for example this functions and variables so there's gonna be like one video that's gonna be where the instructor will uh, teach you all the concepts that you have to know all the examples and since this is an actual like harvard class there are real harvard students that are asking questions and he's answering it too like they are having live interaction and you can feel that you're also part of this class as well so the videos last for like 
one to two hour depending on the topic but this is really fun they made it really fun for you to learn so that's what I've done here but on my Mac, my PC, even my phone, I'm generally in the habit, like you, of running programs by double clicking an icon or just. So, what I like about this class too is that he's not just talking about and explaining about the different uh, Python terms or Python concepts. He is coding it live and he's doing all of the hands on stuff. So, it's in the video, it's 90% hands on and explanation while he is coding and coding everything instead of just like explaining what a term is so you can see how everything works in here and it's very effective and he has a very te effective teaching method there is notes and also slides so the notes would look like this so this is all written down if you just want a quick review and want to go over something that you have forgotten instead of watching the video again you can just check this notes out of course every after the topic there is a problem set that you have to take to apply all of your learning so this is very very challenging this is harvard level so everything that he taught you will be applied in here but you're not just going to learn how to code in here or, or how to write the code in here. You will learn also how to think on writing a code. So that's what I like about this problems too. These are problems that are really what we will encounter in real life experience. It's not just like doing tic-tac-toe or blackjack. These are realistic problems that we are going to solve with our codes in here okay so that's it for today's video those are the free resources that i can give you so far if i find out other trainings and courses i will share them with you again if i if you have any questions please leave a comment down below and i hope to see you guys in my next videos thank you so much for watching